What's going on, people? Welcome to another video. My name is Hugh and you're watching 90 More back again with breaking news for the NS. I hope you're all doing well. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you're new and drop the video a damn like if you breathe oxygen for now, though. Let's get down to business because there is breaking news for that ass, boy. Exclusive breaking news from the sources. Arsenal have made two signings. Let's go over to the BBC's David Ornstein. Arsenal have reached an agreement. to. So actually, let's not. No, I was having a laugh. A Buble, a Michael Buble. Let's go over to Hugh Wizzy's account, right? Because Hugh Wizzy tweets the f***ing news hours before these f***ing official sources do. Listen, sources close to the club say a couple, maybe even a few deals will be wrapped up and announced this week. And what do you know? Hours later, bear in mind, hours later, David Ornstein of the BBC is saying Arsenal have reached an agreement to sign Real Madrid and Spanish under-21 midfielder Danny Ceballos. Danny Ceballos. Ceballos, come on lads, get it right. Welcome to the arse! We've actually done it. He's, we've signed a top player here. Now what's crucial to me are the details of this move. Have we got an option to buy? We will do further investigation because if we haven't, I feel like we're being mugged off a little bit. And I'll be very disappointed because he is a very talented player. Very interesting to see articles from, you know, as far back as 2015. Uh, linking Arsenal to Ceballos. Spanish paper Ass suggesting that Arsene Wenger views Ceballos as the next Fabregas. And he certainly is of that mould of a Santi or a Cess, a creative force in midfield that could help us try and play that expansive, attacking, creative football that we want to be associated with and have kind of lacked, especially whilst Mkhitaryan and Ozil are not really firing on all cylinders. Linking him with a Torreira certainly gives us other options, especially after Ramsey's departure. Spanish under-21 midfielder Dani Ceballos on loan for the 2019-20 campaign with William Saliba, Big Willy, Billy, also set to complete his move from Saint-Étienne before returning there on loan next season. Disappointing. Big week for Arsenal in the transfer market. Oh, it's an exciting day to be an Arsenal fan. We've got him. He's in the bag. Breaking news. We've got a Spanish kid in the bag. Arsenal have reached an agreement to sign Real Madrid and Spain midfielder Dani Ceballos on loan 10 minutes ago. Breaking news for that S. 56 appearances for Real Madrid since joining in 2017 has been persistently linked with Arsenal and Tottenham, who he's rejected. Right, he's rejected Tottenham. Let's just get that clear. Why does every player reject Tottenham when they come to us? Anyway, the former Real Betis player is expected to fill the void left by Aaron Ramsey, with Arsenal also set to sign Saint-Étienne centre-back William Saliba. The French youth international will cost around £27 million and will return on loan. Saliba has again expressed a desire to join Arsenal despite late interest from Tottenham. Well, there's a fucking surprise, eh? So the club have given him another day of holiday after winning the under-21 championships with the national team. Unai Emery, Unai Emery has shown a lot of interest in bringing him to the club. He wants to play 40 games at the club that he goes to, and Arsenal appear to be the best option for him. We seem to be willing to give him that amount of games, which is a lot of games, so he's going to be pretty integral to the side. The operation is being managed from the islands, through Raul Sanelli, who acts as the executor of the English. Yeah, we know all that. Edu. Okay, so Edu hasn't yet taken complete control. Sanelli, on the other hand, already tried to bring Ceballos close to Barca just before he signed for Real Madrid. Okay, so this is again, I think, evidence of Raul Sanelli's contacts. And the deal appears to be over the line. I'm not totally convinced by this article, which everyone's quoting, that it is actually over the line yet. But uh, Marker saying that basically Tottenham and Arsenal were the only ones really in for him and Arsenal were the ones that have guaranteed that game time that he is after. Okay, so he says he's, got, uh, he's still got a contract at Real Madrid. He's got four years left on it, I think he says. Um, and he's thinking about the that is his future. 
para desconectar. He dicho que quiero jugar 40 partidos en cualquier equipo y sentirme importante porque es mi, mi gran objetivo de cara al año que viene. Okay, so basically he wants to play for a big club, he wants to play an important role for a big club. Okay, apparently the deal could be finalised in a few hours. The player will not be on Real Madrid's pre-season tour and he could undergo a medical and sign his Arsenal contract as soon as Tuesday. Uh, Unai Emery has, of course, made contact with the player. He's talked to the family and they've all been convinced about the move. He's been guaranteed that game time, so everything appears to be in place. And it looks like Danny Ceballos is going to be an Arsenal player. Beautiful scenes. A player who has won the Supercopa. He's won the Champions League, the UEFA Super Cup, the FIFA World Club Cup, the UEFA Under-21 European Championships, the Under-19 European Championships. He was the Under-21 European Championships player of the tournament as well. This is an exciting signing. Now, the main thing for me is do Arsenal have an option to buy? It's not always an issue. I know that Kovacic and Chelsea have managed to work out a deal, even though I don't think he had one installed initially. But do Arsenal have one? Let's have a look. Okay, so these guys reckon Danny Ceballos to Arsenal is just about done. 12 month loan, no option to buy. It's a bit worrying. Loan deal with an option to buy. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, dodgy looking account if I'm honest so what can we expect from this young Spanish international Danny Ceballos how is he going to fit into the team could he actually play as the number 10 with Torreira and Xhaka in a double pivot or would he be better as the number 8 with Torreira or Xhaka and then a number 10 ahead of him or, you know, we've got a few options here, but it's nice to have someone who is comfortable on the ball. Uh, there's going to be an understanding there naturally with Unai Emery and his team because he is Spanish. And, you know, he is highly thought of by Real Madrid, who have stressed that they are very keen to keep him. Um, and so far, I don't think I'm convinced that there is an option to buy. That it seems to have been swept under the carpet by Ornstein. There is one thing that could potentially force Real Madrid's hand, and that is getting hold of a midfielder or two themselves. They have been linked with a few in Tottenham's Christian Eriksen and Manchester United's Paul Pogba. If they were to be able to get either of those players, you would think that they would be more okay with letting Ceballos go, um, or at least putting in the option to buy. If he was to perform really well, and there was no option to buy. For me, this is not a great deal. It's okay in that we don't really have a choice, and I guess he's a great player, or at least he's got the potential to be a great player, but is it an upgrade on Aaron Ramsey? I'm going to say no, for me. I think that Ramsey is superior to this guy, um, as it stands. This guy's got a lot of potential. Um, but, you know, we're in a precarious position, I guess, Arsenal, where we're being forced to act differently in the market to many other clubs so with that in mind um, until we've sold players which we seem to be struggling to do right now uh, I would expect this to be the type of thing that happens or maybe you could see a lot more money being poured into one deal there are you know other bigger deals being talked about whether it's Pepe or Zaha or Everton we are seeing the result of the changes now it's also good to be actually linked with the player or close to be getting players over the line or actually confirming players. I'm sure that we're going to be seeing this guy in an Arsenal shirt pretty soon. Everything looks to be in place. It, the only sticking point for me is to judge whether it's a good deal or not. I think we need to know whether there is officially an option to buy or not. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, though. There look to be two new signings. We will talk briefly about William Saliba. St. Etienne also doing their pre-season tour in the United States. And whilst Lacazette is getting chatted up by uh, this uh, young lady here, uh, William Saliba hanging out with former Saint Etienne striker Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, and it looks like Saliba is done as well. Um, he will be staying with Saint Etienne for a year. We have talked about this so much. I know it's very, very monotonous and repetitive. However, it's breaking news for LS, and it looks like Saliba will be an Arsenal defender, not this season, but next season. And that in itself is quite exciting. Another new young player, fresh. He's very highly thought of in terms of stature, standing people up, uh, confidence on the ball. 
Um, you know, he's he's tall, strong, and looks to be learning very quickly. So this is an expensive transfer. I'm not going to lie, 29 million euros. I think that's 26 to 27 million pounds or something. But Arsenal will be paying in six instalments over six seasons. Unbelievable. This To me, it's absolutely unbelievable. 4.3 million a year. How they've swung that, I don't know. Maybe that's why St Etienne were okay with the deal. They, it is a large amount of money for a player who hasn't proven his potential yet. But, you know, very highly thought of. This could be a wise investment, shrewd investment. Hopefully there's no sell-on clause. But two players in the bag and we've got more to look forward to. Hashtag be excited. Josh has come out and said that things are going to be happening. You know, they are working in the background furiously. And I think that this is going to be a big week for Arsenal. We may well see these two um, being announced by the club quite soon. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you for now. Just a quick one to let you know that there are things happening. I know that it's been a frustrating transfer window for everyone, um, but we are close to the end. 16 days now until the season starts, or at least until the window closes. And we can still, still sell players uh, to Europe, but that is a bit of a worry to me how we haven't been able to shift people on um, the only advantage, I guess, to that is that we could use a couple of players as make-weights to try and tempt clubs into making bigger deals happen. I'm talking about the Zaha one in particular. A Zaha deal where Crystal Palace have turned down a £55 million bid. And that is not only £55 million, apparently. It was £40 million plus add-ons plus Reese Nelson as well which to me is a great deal. I don't know why they didn't snap Arsenal's arm off for that. 55 mil plus another player who's got huge potential who could end up being worth a few mil himself. In Curentini news, um, Arsenal are yet to break the deadlock with Celtic in their attempts to sign Tierney and may have to consider alternative options. Celtic have rejected two bids this summer already, the second for around £25 million. And they're very unhappy with the structuring of the payments. So surprise, surprise, they want a little bit of a lump sum up front and they don't want to have to wait six years with four million pounds every, yeah, you know, laughable stuff. But this is where we are. Tierney does not look like it's any closer to happening. And I don't think we're going to be able to announce that one just yet. But I would hope still that that one's around the corner and they could be tempted with a third bid. So this could well be what we're looking at. Kieran Tierney, Saliba, Ceballos, and Everton. Apparently Arsenal, Arsenal sent, sent doctors, doctors to Brazil. Brazil. I don't know whether to believe that or not, but um, he is a player who's been attracting a lot of attention. He plays for Grêmio. There's been a lot of talk about him being linked with Arsenal under the new supervision of Edu. That may well be more possible than ever. Listen, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you are excited by these signings, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Maybe you think an option to buy isn't that important for the Ceballos deal. And you don't really care that Saliba is going back on loan to League Earn, the Uber Eats League Earn, for the whole of next season. Okay, I'm going to love you and leave you there. Make sure you are subscribed if you're new and drop the video a damn like if you breathe oxygen. For now, though, I've been Hugh Izzy and this has been the beginning of hopefully a massive week of announcements.